Hey folks, good morning. Today is September 16th, 2019. It's me, Christiana Gaudette. I am here getting ready to do your three card weekly reading. This has become kind of a thing and I'm excited that it has. If you're watching it in archive, either on Facebook or YouTube, again, these cards are for the week of September 16th through 22nd. And uh, I'm happy you're here as well. And I see Jan Brewington is here. Good to see you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Tampa area at the end of the month. And I'll, I'll do that shameless self-promotion right now. Uh, I will be in the greater Tampa area doing house calls, parties, readings uh, from the 27th of September through the 30th. So it's like a four-day weekend. Uh, we'll also be having our meetup at Panera uh, in Lutz, and that will be that Sunday, which is the 29th, from 3 to 5. So I hope to see you all there if you happen to be in the Tampa Bay area. I want to thank folks for coming out to my Minor Arcana class yesterday. We had a really good time. And uh, I want to remind people that it's my turn to teach at Dream Angels in Tequesta on the 26th of September, that's a Thursday. If you happen to be here in South Florida on the Atlantic side, on seven to nine on Thursday, the 26th, the class is Practical Tarot Techniques. Rogerio, good to see you here. Okay, Elizabeth, glad you're here. Thanks everyone for coming in. I see the room is filling up. And uh, I won't be able to acknowledge everyone, but I can see you, and I am glad you are here. So, the deck I'm working with today is Ancestral Path Tarot by Julie Kusha Watts. I was so happy that U.S. Games has brought this back. It was out of print for a while. And now it's back. It's one of my favorite decks. I am carrying it. You can get it on my website, christianagaudette.com. Or if you happen to be in the area, you can get it right here in my office in Palm City. So, three-card weekly reading. What's this all about? Uh, it is a general reading for all of us, looking at the energies surrounding us over this next week. If it resonates for you, definitely take it as a reading. And of course, if you're looking for something more specific to you and your needs, I am available for a private reading with you here in my office in Palm City, or by phone, Skype, FaceTime, or Messenger, just reach out. You can private message me here, or you can call me or text me, 561-655-1160. So, you can see me furiously shuffling here. Let's see what the cards have for us for this week. Okay, first card, oh gosh. You know, the week we had the hurricane that, that didn't happen to us here in South Florida, cards were beautiful. You know, the Bahamas were getting savaged and it was fine. How are we starting our week this week? The tower. Okay, so people find this to be kind of a scary card for a reason. However, if we look at this as sort of the available energy for what's around us right now, I have a couple of thoughts. Number one, I think on a personal level, when we look at this card, what we have to remember is that which is built on a faulty foundation cannot stand. And you have to look at your own belief systems, your beliefs about yourself, about life, the universe, and everything and decide what's working, what's true, what's not. Because this week your beliefs will be tested. You will come out of this week feeling stronger in your faith of what is real in your life and letting go of those structures that are not working for you. Now, this card could also talk about major changes. There may be changes for you in your job, in your relationships, in other aspects of life. The other thing that I'm aware of, uh, for those of you who are following the uh, 
the teen climate activist, Greta Thunberg. She's in the States this week, and they are doing their Friday protests where businesses are closing on Friday. And I know Lush, one of my favorite businesses, is going to be closed. All, all their locations across the world will be closed this Friday in protest to governments not taking climate change seriously enough. So, you know, certainly the tower is a card that can talk about disrupting business as usual and can also talk about something as big and hard to wrap our heads around as climate change. So there we go. What's the next card? The next card is the Six of Swords Reverse. Now, let me just show you the Six of Swords in this deck. It's a, a great image, a great card. We have to remember that it did come up reversed. So the Six of Swords is about being logical. It's about using our logic and our intelligence to move us out of a place of chaos into a place of smoother sailing, of smoother waters. And yet it came up reversed. And so this goes back to the tower image here, where we may recognize that whatever our personal tower is, whatever is going on in our lives that is not built on a firm foundation, we may be resisting the thought process that will make change. So you really have to look at yourself and say, in what ways am I resisting logic? In what ways am I clinging to beliefs about myself or about others or about life that don't work? Let's see what our third card will be. The third card, the Queen of Sacred Circles. Now in this deck, the, queen of, uh, the Sacred Circles are pentacles. So this would be like the Queen of Pentacles. And so this reminds us to nurture our planet, to nurture our bank accounts, to nurture our homes, and to nurture our bodies. This reminds us that in the face of chaos, you still got to get to the gym. You still got to eat right. You still got to get to work and do a good job. You got to nurture your families. You got to take care of the things you have to take care of. And so this may be a difficult week for some people. However, we make the week easier by employing logic to get to a smoother place and by nurturing ourselves and those we care for. And isn't that a great image? I love that image. So how can you nurture yourself better this week? How can you take better care of yourself and the people you care about? I think if we work on that kind of nurturance and that kind of putting one foot in front of the other, we will mitigate the difficulties of the tower and we will indeed sail towards smoother waters. I want to thank you so much for being here. Drop a comment if this resonates for you, if you're going through a tower time right now. If you're watching an archive, I thank you for that as well. And I will be back next week with your three card weekly reading for that week. And if you would like to see me for a private session, we can do that by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger, or if you happen to be local, right here in my Palm City office. Do not let the tower scare you, because you know what? That which is built on a faulty foundation cannot stand. Getting to truth and getting to a firm foundation in order to rebuild is not a bad thing. It's a difficult thing, but it's a helpful thing. Lori, nice to see you. Glad that you're here. Thank you all so much. I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take good care.